We're at a technical meeting today at the National Robotics Engineering Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is associated with Carnegie Mellon University. They're basically working with us to do the robotic design on Armor One. So it's a combination of marine design, uh, assisted by the Marine Design Center of Philadelphia, and also the robotics center here in uh, Pittsburgh. As far as the design phase and everything else, we originally started out with one of our architectural engineer firms, the Bristol Harbor Group, to help us design the boat itself. We let the contract, the task order with Bristol One through an IDIQ, an indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract for the AE firm to help design. Then we went on to finding someone who could do the robotics for us, and that was the National Robotics Engineering Center here at Carnegie Mellon University here in Pittsburgh. We were involved in, starting in 2013, uh, with looking at all sorts of different concepts, going out to the unit and seeing how it works, and um, at this, more or less the same time that NREC got, got involved. Um, and uh, we looked at many of the same things that, uh, that NREC is looking at from a very simple <laughs> perspective, not from <laughs> the robotics perspective, but more from a uh, production perspective. Uh, and that morphed into uh, completing a concept design for, for the map boat, the new map boat. Uh, but it was much larger than, than the current design that we're, we're working on now. Um, and it was determined, uh, basically it was larger to be able to fit all this stuff. And uh, it was determined that for um, operational reasons, the boat had to be uh, quite a bit shorter in length um, than, than we wanted it to be <laughs> from an engineer perspective. Um, and so uh, then we went back and redesigned it to uh, the current 188 foot length. Um, that the, uh, the current map boat uh, is designed to. So a lot of what we do now is uh, squeezing 10 pounds of stuff into a five pound bag, if you will. Um, it's, it's a very densely populated uh, map boat with all of this uh, componentry on it, but it, it works. We're able to make it work. Um, so we are actually just wrapping up the initial design of all of the components for which we have data. Basics of the design, the naval architecture, the marine engineering that went behind the design from the power systems to the structural systems um, to all the stability criteria, meeting all the stability criteria. All that's been done, submitted to the American Bureau of Shipping and actually has gone through a, re re uh, a review process already. We're in the still the mid stages of prototyping here. We've been bringing software up to different levels, trying to increase the speed, increase the autonomy, and getting ready for the next set of revisions, both mechanically and software. Uh, we started back in 2013, uh, getting familiar with the process, starting to uh, make proposals and understand the requirements for it. Um, we're now in the fourth phase, fourth major phase of the project. Uh, we still have about nine months of this phase before we wrap up the design on this, and then we go into the design and documentation for the final build. This phase has been focused on just proving out one arm by itself to see how it performs under load and under speed. The next step is going to be adding a second arm and coordinating the motion between them so they can work as a partnership to unload the supply barge and get onto the deck as efficiently as possible. And we'll be testing provisions so that if one slows down and is having trouble at the square, the other one can help out and take over some of the work that is assigned to do. Or if one gets disabled altogether, we can actually couple it to a working one so that you can still cover the same space and that disabled arm won't get in the way of doing the job. Uh, the other thing we'll be doing in the next phase is we're actually merging together the tying system that we're currently testing indoors with this and we'll be building entire mats outside uh, from the placement and the tying and then the launching down on the deck. We're currently finishing up that design and fine-tuning the robotics uh, among other things and we're going to award that contract in FY19 so we can start construction of this in uh, fiscal year 20. In about three years to build it uh, we're going to do full uh, trials in the fall of uh, 2022 and then the uh, mat sinking season in 2023 is when we are going to use it full up for mat sinking.